Hey everyone, this is the Axler team here. Uh, today we wanted to walk through a quick demo of our satellite application. Uh, satellite is a simple UI that allows you to facilitate the transfer of assets across blockchains. Uh, in terms of supported chains and assets, the list is ever growing, but as of today, we're at roughly a dozen or so uh, blockchains with an equal number of, um, equal and growing uh, number of assets as well. Now, if I may direct you to my screen, the very first thing that you see is a pop-up with a uh, note indicating that our app is indeed still in beta. Um, so I'll just click through our terms of use here real quick. Uh, if it's your first time using the app, at the top we link you up to our testnet playground, which we encourage you to use to become more comfortable with the app, um, obviously before going ahead, ahead with the mainnet version of Satellite. Uh, in terms of uh, some helpful resources that could get you started, a um, few helpful links here. Uh, first is a link to this video. Uh, two is a step-by-step -step medium guide that walks you through a transaction flow, um, and the remainder of these links are helpful resources, uh, token contracts, channel IDs, uh, transfer amounts, and transaction fees. Uh, under support, you'll see a link to all of our socials. Um, our Discord is uh, actually quite thriving and active. Uh, the specific channel for uh, Satellite is the Satellite Crosschain Chat channel. Um, we have a couple of Twitter handles that um, that we use for all, all the latest updates on the app and the network. Um, we also have a link to Transaction Search. Uh, this is a resource that allows you, uh, if you've used Satellite, uh, to query um, all of your transactions that you've done um, through the app, uh, and that's queryable by, uh, by, by your destination address. Um, one other thing to note is the support for and requirement of uh, wallets. Um, so if you click on Connect Wallet here, um, you see that we support um, three wallets. One is the Kepler wallet, which includes um, all of our Cosmos base chains. Um, two is Terra Station for the Terra blockchain network specifically. Uh, and three is MetaMask for all of our EVM chains. Um, now we'll go ahead and connect our Kepler wallet um, and MetaMask as well. All right, uh, and now in terms of a transaction flow, um, you could go ahead and pre-populate any of our top flows. Um, so I'll go ahead and do that, but obviously th there's a dropdown for um, you to specify whichever combination of assets and chains that you would like. Um, once you do that, you see in this little info window will pop up showing you the fee and the total approximate wait time for a transaction. Um, this fee is source dependent, so um, if you change your source chain, uh, destination chain, or asset, um, this, this fee may vary depending on um, what your um, token and asset selection um, are. Now for my destination address, I'm going to send it to my MetaMask address um, and hit transfer. The very first thing on this transaction screen is um, our network's generation of a one-time deposit address. Um, because we're coming from a Cosmos-based chain, um, the deposit address here you'll notice is um, in fact, an Axler prefix address, um, and for that, the deposit that has to be made is in fact an IBC transfer if you're coming from anything other than Axler. Um, we actually do that for you um, directly within um, the satellite app. Um, so if I go ahead and connect or click my, my Kepler wallet option, um, you see the info for my wallet and its balance. Um, we could, I could go ahead and send all of the funds that I have in this wallet, but I'll just go ahead and send 10 for now. So hitting send, this initiates the IBC transfer for us. You see this window pop up um, showing the Kepler confirmation. I'll just click confirm. Uh, let's give this a second to uh, run its course. All right, now um, you see here that the deposit was confirmed. We link you up to um, a few helpful things here. Um, the first is the uh, is the blockchain scanner for uh, the transaction that you will have just sent, uh, or I will have just sent. You see that I sent it to this deposit address ending NVH, um, which coincides here. Um, this final uh, step here, uh, we have a link to, uh, in this case, Snow Trace on Avalanche, which brings you specifically to the uh, token contract at your uh, at your destination address on Avalanche. Um, if you don't have UST on MetaMask yet, we provide you with the option to go ahead and add it. Um, so I'll switch to Avalanche here and add the token. Um, and you see here my transaction is complete. 
And that's pretty much it. <laughs> um, I could, so the flow that I just walked you through was Terror to Avalanche. I could go ahead and do the reverse for you. Um, I won't. I guess the only difference there um, would be um, that if, that is if you're starting from an EVM chain, uh, the deposit address that you'll generate it will indeed be a deposit address for that chain in question. So it won't be doing an IBC transfer in the same way that we did for Terra. Um, it would instead be uh, simply a transfer of tokens um, directly um, from your uh, Avalanche account on MetaMask into, um, in, into that Avalanche deposit address, um, which again, the app will do for you. Um, if there are any issues that come up with your transaction, the support section um, at this stage uh, now gives you a couple of options. Um, one is a link to our deposit recovery tool. Um, there are rare occasions where our set of microservices on top of our network don't pick up your transaction, and so this would be um, a sort of help, uh, a self-help uh, way for you to, to push that transaction along. Um, if that doesn't work, uh, you could go ahead and file a Zendesk ticket um, for our support team. Um, and our support team is pretty responsive, so um, if you provide this information via copy and paste, um, someone in our team should be able to get back to you within uh, a, day or, uh, a day or so. So uh, that's it, I think. Um, pretty quick demo. Uh, any questions, please reach out and let us know. Thanks.